yeah! Crank it up, bros, that's more pit surfers! Bike dancing tunes! How about it, sweetheart? Wanna cut some trip? <laughs> no thanks. I've been a victim of your kind of dance. You don't look at me. No way, I'm sitting this one out. Just gonna have to rock the place yourself, big guy. Ah! But not so hard, bozo. Hey, me, sweetheart. Ooh, and neither is that fushtunk in a smell. Nah, no point asking for whom that smell tolls, eh, bros? Ah, oh, what absolutely exquisite timing. Quite a marvelous moment of opportunity. A chance to destroy not only that bothersome last chance garage, but likewise those miserable Martian mice all in one fell swoop. I simply don't know why it hasn't occurred to me earlier. <laughs> On my mark, then, a bomb's away in three, two, one, one! Hey. Don't you know to call ahead before you drop in on somebody, Limburger? Yeah, your manners stink worse than you do. Time to teach him some etiquette, bros. Let's whip tail! <laughs> ah, no, no, get me out of here! <laughs> no leave until the party's over, stink face. Ooh, got you now, my stinky. Yeah, and your little mute, too. Oh, dear, Matala. Oh, dear. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like... What? Oh, where'd he go? Never mind that, bros. Look! Where oh. Big Stink wafted off to, he took the controls with him as well. Brace yourselves, bros. We're headed for a major breakdown. Vincent and I will handle this hunk of hardware. You got it. And it's a long bomb to Moto. And he's got it. Yes. Touchdown. And he goes for the spike. Uh, uh, no, better not. <laughs> And the three most valuable players avoid the sudden death over time. You know, Vinny, the only thing I'm wondering is, what happened to the big cheese? No place like... Home? What? What? what where? By the favorite clouds of Plutarch. It worked. I'm... In Safe. Oh, greetings, your resplendent repulsiveness. Oh, never mind the earthly pleasantries, Limburger. We want the traditional Plutarchian greeting, and we want it now! Truly, one wonders how Plutarch became the dominant force in the galaxy. Cheek to cheek and sweet to sweet, as Plutarch grows, the galaxy shrinks. Would you mind telling us why on Plutarch have you not yet taken out that insignificant parcel of Earth geography, adolescently called the Last Chance Garage? But I have made repeated attempts. It's those loathsome biker mice who keep interfering. Dr. Carbuncle, would you elucidate, please? <laughs> I'll scope it out. Tell your slimy boss that I don't care how much money he has. The last chance garage is mine, and it's not for sale. You is not being wise, lady. Mr. Limburger wants this land. And what Lawrence Limburger wants, Lawrence Limburger gets! Listen, you overgrown grease monkey. You got ten seconds to vacate this place, or I'm gonna vacate your face! <laughs> oh, I'm shaking, lady. You see me shaking? <laughs> uh, why don't you just ooze off and tell your slimy boss that he can just shove it? <laughs> what the heck? My lift needed a grease job anyway. Yous are starting to annoy me big time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe now you'll see Mr. Limburger's generous offer in a new light. Say there, citizen. Why don't you leave the lady alone? Huh? And who's gonna make me, wrench face? Who's gonna make me? Hey, <laughs> who's gonna make me is my middle name. I'm gonna make you. What's the matter? The little bitty baby biker hurt himself? <laughs> Get up and fight, you loser! What are you, a man or a mouse? <laughs> mouse. You got a problem with that? This is one crummy place you got here. It's crawling with rats. Rat! My mama didn't raise no stinking rat! Understand? It's tail whipping time. Let's take this wrench head down! Hey! Uh. Time to roll, sweetheart! Mr. Limburger ain't gonna like this! Your days, and those of the blasted biker mice, Unnumbered. <laughs> Wait! Oh, let us not be hasty when so much is uncertain. Your royal redolent Reekmeisters, please, please indulge me in one more example. Man, what a night. Quiet. Restful. Boring. Boring. Hey, bros, here's the problem. Yeah! That's music to get my torque wrench cooking. You're cooking with too much grease, then. This crankcase reeks! Innocence! Steam cleaned everything. That's grease, all right. Rancid grease. And that can only mean... Grease pit! Be careful, you miscreant! <laughs> that bomb could flatten the Sears Tower! Don't worry, I got it, I got it! Oops, I'll bet that really smarts, huh, Chrome Dome? Yeah, you fool! You nincompoop! You fumbling, stupid moronic! Hey, you're the inventor! I ain't the one that forgot the handle! This is a bomb! Not luggage, you babbling oil slick! You, you! Well, if it ain't the degenerate duo. Sleaze, brain, and sludge. You boys looking for something? Like trouble, maybe? Uh, but, uh, no, no. <laughs> we were just on our way to, um, the, the repair shop. That's it, yes. This idiot got us lost. Now, grease pit, you lout. Bring along that, uh, uh, toaster oven. And we'll be off. Hold it, large bucket. You ain't going anywhere. Oh, yes, I is. But you ain't. Whoa! The top 60 countdown! Grab him! Get away, dirty bag! Hey, the bad guys are booking! Nothing novel there, Moto. Hey, bros! <laughs> I got something kind of explosive I'd like to get off my chest. We've got less than a minute to get this off him! Or Vinny gets a one-way ticket back to Mars. Just you and me, babe, in about a billion pieces. You stop it. I'm trying to concentrate. Just trying to be romantic. Well, Romeo, you need a lot more practice, and I'm not sure you have the time. Hmm. Got a favorite color, wise guy? Blue. Like your eyes, babe. My eyes are green. Whoops. Whoops is right. Fifteen seconds to destruction. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. This is such a rush! Nine, eight, seven. Too bad this ain't an Olympic event. <laughs> That's pure gold medal. Guess I won't get my picture on the cereal box, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
<laughs> He's gonna be mouse meat salad. Yes, in exactly. One second. As soon as those two dolts have returned, I want to see them in my office. A S A. P. My dear doctor, I require you to discover a reason, any reason, why the last chance garage should not be a target. It is the only chance of saving my scales. Now go! You see, my esteemed gentlefish and uh, fishette, it is truly an impossible situation, and I have done a most incredible job considering... Limburger, we have had enough of your intolerably pathetic excuses. You shall be thrown to the savage sucking slime molds. To the sucking, sucking slime molds! Sucking slime molds are hungry, Limburger. They've waited a long time for such a malodorous morsel as yourself. No, wait a moment, please. Or oh, not even one of your sublime nauseating nurses could have done any better. Oh, yes. Well, why didn't you call in a supervillain if you needed help? For instance, calling upon that creature Cat Scan. One of his cats would have worked in destroying the mice. I did just that very thing, your hideousness. Would that it were all that easy. But, well, see for your rancid cells. What's up, mates? Cat scan's the name, and annihilation's my game. Um, just what is it that you do, Mr. Catscan? <laughs> what don't I do, mate? You're looking at the ultimate in brain power. I had my lunch in that desk drawer. Don't get your knickers in a twist, mate. Just imagine it was your worst enemy. Mmm, how perfectly charming. Yeah, I hope my bros get back sooner than later. That smoke screen won't last much longer. Uh, 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 Is the smoke getting to you? No way. But strange. The only thing I'm allergic to is cats. <laughs> Do tell. I'm not all that fond of rats myself. What's that? Let me at him. Where is he? I'll break his. I never could decide. Should I throw the trap away with the mouse? Or should I use it again? There's a feisty little Sheila. You stay away from her, you freaked out feline. Don't tell me, mate. Let me guess. You're getting tired of our little game of cat and mouse, right? Tell me that cat's been blown back to where it came from. No such luck, mate. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Say, bro, how about the Hasta La Vista Highway? Yeah, excellent idea, big fella. <laughs> too bad Vinny had to miss this. Yep, guess you'll have to be the one that says it. Hasta La Vista, turkeys! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the high life, eh, bro? For sure. If you're bulletproof, it's time to get our heads out of the clouds and our tails back on terra firma. You know, bro, sometimes I get the feeling we ain't Cheesehead's favorite mice. Three boys projecting these things mentally. I gotta get close to him and stop them. What do you want? I brought a message from the general. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought so. First it was King Kong, now it's the story of the Alamo. That kitty cat's an old-time Earth movie freak. He must monitor broadcast movies like King Kong and the Alamo in space. Well, okay then. I get cable movies too. The General sent you to bring out women and children, right? Uh, yeah, how'd you know? Great. We can send out Grandma. 
Grandma? Grandma? I have to use, madame. Oh, no, young man. Have to use. <laughs> Just don't let anybody take any pictures of me like this. We got tabloids on Mars, too. Almost there, bro. Good thing, too. These guys got a party drive that just won't quit. Where's the pretty little Sheila? Uh, she didn't want to come, so I brung her grandma. You'll be sorry, sweet thing. Go scratch the sofa, Tabby. <gasps> oh, yeah? Well, we'll just see about that. <laughs> Hickory dickory dork. Now, see? Let me loosen up. Kick the fur balls out of ya! Oh dear, me teeth chattering. Trust me, mate, you'll get a bang out of this. Biggest flaming pile driver in the universe, mate. Need a show off. Tara, mousies. You'll be regretting that, mate. <laughs> right in your dreams. Pathetic Limburger, truly, undeniably pathetic. But, 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 but. Now, if you have no other damaging evidence to submit, I shall carry out the sentence. Wait, your great ghastlinesses! My minion has just brought me new evidence. Not more excuses for failure. Oh, uh, not at all, Your Resplendency. Uh, scientific evidence. It seems the last chance garage sits directly atop a major fissure leading to the center of the Earth. If it is destroyed, all of Chicago, along with the entirety of its precious resources, will be utterly destroyed beyond the scope of any of our technology to harvest. The last chance garage must, therefore, regrettably, remain unharmed. Very well, Lindbergh. Incompetence is sometimes its own reward. We will therefore spare your worthless fins for now. But you'd better start bringing in the rest of Chicago on a timely schedule. Or else! We have all mine herring right away! You pompous plutocrats. Oh, my gasping killrakers. It's true. The last chance really is seated atop a major fissure. Oh, and it's the very fissure from which I glean my deepest vice, those delectable slime worms. Oh, a close call indeed. Had I demolished that grisly garage as planned, my fat would truly be fried. And perhaps worse, my private cache of slime worms would be distressingly exterminated. Oh. oh, yes. Even in failure, I am gloriously remarkable. Hey, stout, slimy, and smelly. It's the litter police. What? Yeah, we left some garbage here. And we're sending it back. Biker Express. Home is where the heart is. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Whoa, boy! <laughs> Toasty! Cool! It's raining bits of Big Cheese Central! Ooh, I love it when that happens. It really brightens up the whole city, don't you think? You guys are the greatest. Let's rock and ride! I believe I shall mark this day on my calendar and avoid it next year. <laughs>